Welcome to Dr. M's 2022 Holiday Gift Guide for everyone. Babies, toddlers, preschoolers, elementary age children, teens, new parents, adults, and grandparents. I share helpful dental related tools, but also some books and toys that all three of my children have loved. I promise you these are things they'll actually use and the toys I share are ones that my children have played with for years. For new parents and babies, the Reflow Cup is a great training cup because it has an insert that reduces the flow of liquid to keep baby from dumping their drink all over themselves. The Easy Peasy Cups or even tiny Dixie Cups or Little Red Solo Cups are great ways to teach open rim drinking as well. Most kids can start as soon as they're able to sit up and hold that cup themselves and bring it to their mouth, which is around six to 12 months. You can't go wrong though with teeters. I love teether tubes made from food grade silicone. They're soft enough that they won't hurt their throat even if they get it far back enough to kind of gag themselves a little. There are also vibrating teethers, which some kids really love, and then my personal favorite is cold teethers. The mesh bags you can use to hold frozen fruit for them to chew on without swallowing large pieces, and then the Frida Baby Not Too Cold to Hold, it has a nice holder with handles so their hands don't get cold. I discovered the polka dot books with my youngest around 10 months, and she adored them and still loves them now even at two. You cannot go wrong with these. They also help with fine motor coordination too. When baby starts wanting to participate in toothbrushing, a brush that they won't be able to gag themselves with is key. I like grabbies, they have that little rim, and then the Jordan brushes with the round handle, it's also easy for them to grip, and it keeps them from gagging themselves. Tegu blocks are magnetic wooden blocks, great for younger children, since magnetiles are just for age three plus, which really is my favorite and go-to, but for these little guys, Tegu blocks are really wonderful. My littlest loved to use these on a cookie sheet. Bath time can be made safer with the little spout cover that prevents knocked out and broken teeth from hitting the spout. The memory foam bath mat will save your knees at bath time, especially if you're brushing their teeth in the bathtub, which, pro tip, that's a great way to brush their teeth and introduce toothbrushing to the little one even before their teeth come in. It's great to use little washcloths and clean their teeth off. So that's another stocking stuffer idea, little washcloths. To help with brushing, a little incline seat also like this one from Boone is really helpful. Once they get back teeth, so their molars, if they aren't great about opening, a brushing buddy teether tool and bite block can be really helpful to get them to stay open and allow thorough brushing. A triple sided toothbrush that cleans all three sides of the tooth at once is also great in this instance. Spiffy's tooth wipes are xylitol infused wipes great for cleaning their teeth off after nighttime milk that helps reduce their cavity risk. These magnetic building blocks are actually made of sticks and balls, so they're lots of fun and a favorite toy of my kids too. You can see we like magnetic stuff, but it's so intriguing. So if you've been watching the current cold and flu season RSV, ugh, then you know that a quality medical aspirator can be a godsend. It's called the NoseBot by Dr. Nose Best. It was developed by Dr. Stephen Gowdy. He is actually on TikTok, so you can find him there at Dr. Nose Best. So it has three levels of medical grade suction, and I love it. I have an affiliate link at the moment in his top com slash shop, which by the way, you can find all of these sorted by category in my shop under gift ideas and then find them by age. For baby's first toothbrush, I really love Oral-B's zero to three Winnie the Pooh toothbrush series. They've got a nice, soft, flat, brush head. A fun toothpaste is great also. Fluoride is fine in a grain of rice sized amount, but you can also go fluoride free if you wish to. A flavor that's sure to be a favorite is one called Vanilla Bling by Tanner's Tasty Paste. You can't find that one in stores, but it's on Amazon and I've got that linked for you. And it legit tastes like cake icing. It's so good. Lastly, a little book. Leslie Patricelli has a great series of books for little ones. I love, they have a tooth book, which covers teething and toothbrushing, all with a cute little baby in a diaper. My kids love those. What about gift ideas for toddlers and preschoolers? They love playing doctor at this age, right? So you know I'm gonna recommend some dental kits. This is a very popular one from Melissa and Doug. My kids love it and it's lasted a long time. A fun or creepy stuffy with teeth is also a great way to introduce mouth care. If they're struggling at all at this age, a triple sided toothbrush and a brushing buddy, just like I mentioned in the previous section for babies, it can really be helpful still to help them stay open and to allow you to clean all three sides of the teeth quickly and effectively. Magnet tiles are probably the number one toy I buy for birthday parties and recommend to friends. My kids love them. You can add to them indefinitely. There are tons of different varieties and styles and they travel easily in a case and the play possibilities are endless. They're magnets. So think the fridge, the garage door. It's a great toy. You need these in your life. Your kid will love them. To start promoting their involvement in the oral hygiene routine themselves, you can provide some tools like a step stool. You want to be sure though that they're always supported and supervised when a toothbrush is in their mouth so that they don't risk impaling the back of their throat, which is a horrific injury. So a little PSA thrown in there. A sand timer can also be helpful if they're a little too young to use something like a brushing app. At this age, they are old enough to begin introducing some tooth-friendly snacks. In our home, we use xylitol mints often after meals or snacks. Wisps crackers are made from real cheese and they are a great alternative to the sneaky cavity-causing culprit goldfish crackers. If your kid is cavity-prone, a dental probiotic may be beneficial to add to their routine as well. Super Teeth is one that I really like and have tried myself with my kids and they enjoy it. If your preschooler shows interest in an electric brush, you can get them a training one like Oral-B's 3 plus age. It's not actually a sonic 
vibrating toothbrush, so they'll tolerate it better, but that also means you still need to use it like a manual toothbrush, still scrubbing it around, you're not just running it along their teeth to clean. The manual hum brush has an amazing app that allows you to track and see areas that they've missed, so I highly recommend that if they're interested and able to follow an app. Mega blocks, fidget toys like poppets, and then the fat brain toy spinner, those have all been big hits at our house for years and are some fun toy ideas that are really colorful too. Plus they build fine motor coordination, which helps with building brushing skills. Don't forget bath safety for bigger kids. Get a spout cover still to prevent dental injuries. My kids love bath color drops and then crayons, as well as the foam ABC letters too at this age. For spill resistant cups that still promote straw drinking and opened rim drinking, I like the Miracle 360 from Munchkin and also the Munchkin weighted straw cup. If you've heard that certain sippy cup types like the Munchkin 360 are evil and horrible, that was likely a bit misguided. I want you to check out the article from the Informed SLP. It's called What's Up With Cups? For more details about that, it will put your mind at ease. Basically, I just recommend a variety. That's the key. Try to avoid the hard spouted ones just because if they're mobile at all, there's a trauma risk with that hard spout. It could bump their teeth and hurt them. But otherwise, most things that aren't just a traditional bottle are fair game. A fun toothpaste flavor might be a great way to make their routine a little more interesting or exciting. My kids love that Tanner's Tasty Paste I mentioned before, but all of the varieties, they have one that tastes like Dreamsicle and orange, which is really good. And then that vanilla one, literally, it tastes like frosting. Hello Brand also has some delicious ones, most notably Dragon Dazzle Blue Raspberry. That's a really good one. The nice thing about these toothpastes is they are free of sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS, which you'll see in most like brick and mortar store toothpaste. That foaming agent can be spicy to some kids. They'll say things burn. So finding paste like Hello and Tanner's that have no SLS is a really good tool. Some fun things that my kids ended up loving, but they were random, but still ended up crowd pleasers as stocking stuffers or silicone coasters, the rainbow color ones, of course, and then stacking cups. They still play with those for years in their pretend kitchen. Those have lasted us a long time and been really fun and cheap and easy. A wooden puzzle you can never go wrong with either. The ABCs, numbers, both are great. Finally, some good reads for this age, especially when they have a dental theme. Daniel goes to the dentist and Peppa's dentist trip. They're both really great and pretty accurate descriptions. I want you to remember that AAPD recommends a first dental visit occur within six months of their first tooth coming in or by their first birthday, whichever is earliest. So be sure to check out this video on the cards if you have any more questions about that. Now for elementary age kiddos. At this age, they're really into apps that guide toothbrushing. I still think Hum has the best one. It gives you kind of 3D representation of where they've brushed. They have a manual or a battery powered option, but both have to be used like a manual one because the battery one isn't sonic. So it's not really powerful enough to let the brush run along and do the cleaning itself. You still have to scrub with it. If they want a true electric brush that they can use like that, go with Oral-B, the age six plus version. And then they would use the Disney Magic Timer app or the Pokemon Smile app with that one. Sonic Air's Kids Brush has its own app as well, and it is a powerful, effective toothbrush. So either Oral-B 6 Plus or Sonicare, they can use like a traditional electric toothbrush. You still, until they're about age seven, want to be going after them and brushing, doing a final check to make sure they're not missing any areas, even with an electric toothbrush. A fun toothpaste is also a great idea at this age. Tanner's Tasty Paste again and Hello are my go-tos for all ages. If they have any sensitivities to flavor, you can try something flavorless like Dr. Bob or Oriners. Now, this is a little sad, but they are likely to lose their first tooth between the ages of four and seven. The average is age six. And a tooth fairy pillow might break your heart a little bit, but that could be a great gift at this age. My kiddos' favorite outdoor toys have been stop rockets and foam gliders. They've played with them for years and we've gone through multiple sets because they are well loved. More tooth friendly snacks for elementary age. Still great are those cracker alternatives, Wisp, and then dental probiotics if they're high cavity risk. Can be a good thing to add if you can afford to. They are expensive though, so it's not a must have, but can be a great addition. Xylitol mints are still great, but if they can now safely chew it, xylitol gum is even better because you get mechanical cleansing from that gum. It will remove food debris. It's almost like a mini toothbrush session in the middle of the day if they're able to chew gum and not swallow it. Basic Bites are a newer chew. It has calcium and arginine in it, but when used twice daily, it may help lower their cavity risk. They taste great. It's like a Tootsie Roll, and I actually offer them after toothbrushing as a toothbrushing incentive. You can do the same thing with the probiotic. Offer it after toothbrushing as an incentive. Now, as their permanent teeth come in, you want to do all you can to protect them as they're also becoming more active on scooters and bikes, things like that. So I recommend got to have a helmet anytime they're on anything on wheels, anytime they're in motion, they need a helmet, a good quality helmet that's covering the back of their head, has some coverage in the front too. A little visor even that sticks out is great because it can help keep them from bumping their teeth, bumping their mouth. But they do have permanent teeth now, so always have on hand, save a tooth in your emergency kit. Especially true if you're like a nurse, a teacher, an EMT, a coach, you've got to have save a tooth. It's an emergency kit tool. It's a little cup that contains Hank's Balance Salt Solution. What that is is a 
solution you could put an evolved or knocked out permanent tooth inside and then take it to the dentist it has a better chance of the cells on the edge of that root of the tooth of being kept alive so that you can put that tooth back in if you can't put it in yourself which that would be the ideal you actually put the tooth back in yourself but that's a whole other video for another day but if you can't do that put it in that and get it to your dentist right away so save a tooth is great now that they've got permanent teeth to help protect those teeth should they get knocked out fun tooth centered books for this age are the tooth book which has lots of facts and stories and then I lost my tooth is a lesser known title by Mo Willems that's hilarious and it helps them feel less nervous about losing their teeth and then a silly book that talks about microorganisms in the mouth is a little sciencey is do not lick this book my son loves that one but they're all hits in my house this age group age 7 to 11 ish really loves YouTube and they've likely heard of Dental Digest Anthony he's a dental student out of the University of Illinois Chicago he's got his own brand of disclosing tablets out called fat glob but you can find others on Amazon but these dye plaque purple and they aid in more effective brushing while also making it entertaining and fun so if they haven't found Anthony yet on YouTube I definitely recommend you take them show them Dental Digest it may help get them motivated to brush and then you can get those disclosing tablets so they can brush right along and get brushing with Anthony. Now for teens, adults, and even grandparents, I love xylitol gum in mints as well as basic bite chews. They serve to mechanically clean the teeth between brushing and also provide the beneficial tooth prebiotic xylitol. The basic bites also provide arginine and calcium and other tooth friendly agents. And these are especially helpful for someone with dry mouth because they promote salivary flow. So for the elderly or someone on medications that lead to dry mouth. A dental probiotic or prebiotic may also be worth exploring if they're high cavity risk. But again, that's really if you can afford it. These don't have a ton of research behind them. We don't know if the changes are permanent or just transient but the one super teeth that I recommend does have a few studies that show that it may be creating lasting changes and it's not crazy expensive so if you want to try one that's one that I like I'm not an affiliate with them yet I just like the product and recommend it now a quality electric toothbrush can be really helpful at improving brushing effectiveness especially if it's got an app I love the apps if you've got a kid with ADHD they don't want to brush or just an elderly person who's forgetting these can be really really helpful tools so there are two styles of toothbrushes the oral B that is rotation oscillation and it's a smaller brush head so you're cleaning one tooth at a time and then the the rectangular head like Sonicare that's cleaning via sonic vibrations. You have to get high enough vibrations that you get non-contact cleaning. That's the idea of sonic cleaning, where you're getting pulsations of fluid via fluid dynamics to areas of the teeth that the bristles aren't actually touching that are still scrubbing them clean a little bit. It's not as good as the physical scrubbing, but it's still cleaning them via that pulsation. You do get that and some of the oral bees has to be the higher level ones, like 42,000 or more movements per minute. And then you get that obviously with all the sonic hairs. So you may not have a sonic toothbrush with an oral bee, but you get that same non-contact cleaning effect at a certain level of brushing power. And the ones that I recommend all have that. So both clean via that sonic fluid dynamic effect that I'm gonna recommend. And I personally use an Oral-B. I like the clean after the Oral-B better myself. So the creme de la creme is Oral-B IO9, soon to be 10, I think is coming out, which offers 3D live tracking as you brush. And it's a pretty phenomenal app experience. The Sonicare Diamond Clean has a similar app and brushing tracking for a slightly lower price tag. I just don't like the feel of the Sonic brushes as much or the clean. I just feel like my teeth are cleaner with Oral-B, but that's just me. I haven't used both, but I prefer the Oral-B. A middle grade $100-ish option from Oral-B is the IO6, and then Sonicare is the 6100. They have less tracking ability with brushing. The app is tracking fewer zones, less bells and whistles, fewer modes, but still great brushes and a much lower price tag. For the 50-ish dollar range, if you still want that effective Sonic type non-contact clean, you can actually go with the kids brushes. It's fine for an adult to use a kids brush. You can get adult brush heads. They still fit on the kids ones. The only weird thing about Sonicare is with kids, it like gradually builds up to the full two minute brushing time. And so you just have to be sure that you're got a timer separate until it builds up to that two minute time. It's kind of weird. There's no way to turn it off. But Oral-B's the six plus kids brush is great. Or they have one called the Smart 1500, which is basically the grown up version of the kids brush and you pay $20 more for. So just buy the kids one. And then Sonicare's kids brush or the Colgate Hum. With the Hum, it has the least effective clean. It only has like 30,000 and it says up to 30,000 movements per minute of their brush. So it's not going to get you as powerful of a clean but I think it has the best app so you're kind of weighing the two it's still going to be a pretty good clean with the hum and it does have the best app with that 3d tracking for that low price tag but all of these brushes have the keys I look for which is a powerful enough brush with that sonic effect and it has a pressure sensor to keep you from brushing too firmly leading to things like gum recession or sensitivity the more expensive ones just have more bells and whistles different modes do you need different modes probably not you just need the basic one or sensitive and then the higher more expensive ones do have a travel case if that's something that interests you now if anyone struggles with bad breath 
it's worth exploring the cause with your dentist. And sometimes it's acid reflux or diet related, but often it is tongue buildup. Not everybody scrapes their tongue. They don't realize you're supposed to do that every day, kind of like flossing. A tongue scraper can help. I find that the metal ones are more effective than the plastic ones. The type that I like and recommend is Avuli. It comes in a two pack, so you can get one too. Mouthwash is optional in most people's routines, but a good bad breath rinse contains sodium chloride. That's the ingredient to look for. ProFresh, OxyFresh, Closest, and TheraBreath are all good options. ProFresh being the best because it's got two different liquids that you mix together. The reaction hasn't happened yet, so it's like going to be the most potent, the most powerful right when you use it because you mix it right when you use it. An anti-cavity rinse, on the other hand, would be something with 0.05% sodium fluoride. Act has the most options in terms of flavors, and even the kid flavors are great and fine for adults to use. In the same vein, fun toothpaste are an option at any age, but for someone with sensitivity or high cavity rates, you may want to consider prescription toothpaste, so 5,000 parts per million, so ask your dentist about that, or something like Carry Free. It offers both nano hydroxyapatite and fluoride in combination. It's the only toothpaste that does that. It's made in the US. They even have grape and citrus flavors, not just mint. Now, if someone struggles with self-care tasks and motivation, you can help increase that dopamine release with showering or with tooth brushing by adding something to it that is more enjoyable, like listening to music or a podcast. You can also do things to help make that task easier, lessen the number of steps. So you could put a toothbrush in the shower. Oral-B Click is a manual toothbrush that's partially recyclable, which is kind of nice, and it's got a magnetic mount. So I mount mine underneath my shower head so it's not getting too wet, not going to mildew. You change it every three months. They do just fine in the shower, and you can use that in the shower brush while you're showering. That can really help a kid with ADHD or just a person struggling with depression who's struggling with maintaining a regular toothbrushing routine. But a waterproof Bluetooth speaker is great. Bose is by far and away amazing, the best. It's like 150 bucks. I really like the lower tier one that's like 40-ish dollars. That works just fine too. It's Watertooth Bluetooth speaker by iFox. Some relaxing toy options even for the older age group. The Lego bonsai tree is amazing. I bought that for myself. It looks like so much fun. And then the Shashibu, not sure if I'm saying that right. The magnetic block. One of these blocks you can like move around. It's so much fun. It's so soothing. It's really exciting to play with. It's a lot cooler than a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> of course, there is a tortilla blanket also available in waffle and pizza. And then three books that changed my life. Atomic Habits, When Breath Becomes Air, and Man's Search for Meaning. They're great reads and will help with self-care, finding life's meaning, building internal motivation, and purpose. Other helpful hygiene hacks like the Oral-B Click that I mentioned earlier for the shower. You could get a cordless water flosser also for the shower. And then floss picks or proxa brushes, those are alternatives to the often cumbersome strength floss and they still disrupt plaque below the gum line great and are useful tools for a lot of people. Now, if someone you love struggles with dry lips, lanolin is the best hack that I can give you for this. I discovered it because lanolin is the ingredient like nipple cream for moms that are nursing babies. I had tons of that left over and started putting it on my lips and it was amazing. It's so much better in my opinion than Vaseline. Only thing is if you're sensitive to wool, you could be allergic to lanolin because it does come from sheep. So Lansano, they make that nipple cream, but they also make a lip balm. It's probably cheaper to get it in the nipple cream, but they may not really want to carry a chapstick with those nipple cream. So you can get just the lip balm so they don't have to carry that around. And then what you can do for added moisture before you apply that lanolin, which is like the occlusive that's going to block any moisture loss, you can put moisture in first with a little lip booster that has hyaluronic acid. I like and love Paula's Choice. Moms are sure to like that one. And then finally, white strips are another great buy. Most people wouldn't mind being given these. Crest over the counter white strips are a great product. The higher the concentration of hydrogen peroxide, the more quickly or the stronger the whitening effect. And they work far better than things like whitening toothpaste. So definitely avoid charcoal paste, anything like that that could be too abrasive and damage your enamel. I hope these lists were helpful. You can find everything at themomanddentist.com slash shop under the gift ideas category and I sort them by age. Is there anything I missed? Let me know in the comments what your kids' favorite gifts have been over the years. 